The Nobel Assembly at Karolinska Institutet has today decided to award the 2022 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine to Svante Pebo for his discoveries concerning the genomes of extinct hominins and human evolution. Well, I initially thought it was a joke actually, that it was my research group who made an elaborate joke, uh, but then it sounded a little too convincing, so, but it was hard to digest actually, immediately. Thanks to his seminal discoveries, genetic variants that are shared among all now living humans, but absent in Neanderthals and Denisovans, have been identified. The thing that is amazing to me is that we now have some ability to go back in time and actually follow genetic history and genetic changes over time. What really drives our work is really curiosity, I would say. It is just as if you do an archaeological excavation to find out about the past, we sort of make excavations in the human genome. But there might come practical implications out of that. I mean, we have discovered, for example, that in the COVID pandemic, the greatest risk factor to become severely ill and even die when you're infected with the virus has come over to modern people from Neanderthals. So we, we and others are now intensely studying the Neanderthal version versus the protective modern version to try to understand what the functional difference would be. And if we understood that, we could perhaps also treat COVID better. But it's primarily, of course, a historical, curiosity-driven research, if you like. We call it global climate change, and it is. But it affects each of us, no matter where we live, in your city, your town, or your farm. Climate change is having its effect. The more people we are on the planet, the less resources there are for each of us. In my lifetime, we've eradicated two-thirds of wildlife on planet Earth. Almost like a mind-boggling scale of loss of life. The Colorado River is drying up. We use and discard so much plastic into the world that it finds its way into our food chain. Joshua Tree National Park. In the next century, all of this could disappear. Sounds grim? Well, it kind of is. I want to build a compost site and help that community stand on their feet. That's what compost power is about. It's about just giving the power to the people. I think, really, we are in the situation that Noah was in. And the question now is, what can we say? How else can I give back? How else can I make my energy matter? We as tribal people, we're very dedicated to our homeland. If we can live in harmony with nature, then we are able to harness nature for these paradigm-shifting solutions. We need to preserve our soil. I mean, the good news is we can build it. Only what you love would you protect, and only what you learn about can you come to love. <laughs>